back. So I'm gonna start the battle off with Ridley, and then use Gyarados, and then, I mean, one of these two later on. I guess Gyarados with the last Pokemon or so, whatever. So let's talk to Erica. Hello, lovely water, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must go off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Salagon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. That sounds so useless. You, why you little? My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Well, why do you think I'm here? I mean, I'm, first of all, a guy. I'm not interested in flower arrangements. Very well, but I shall not lose. Bring it on. So, we have the next gym leader, Erica, who will actually stand more of a challenge than Lieutenant Surge did. Her first Pokemon is Tangela at level 30. Also, um, note that the Pokemon she uses is, is exactly what the Pokemon she used in the anime, in the exact same order. So, she started off with a Tangela against Ash's Bulbasaur, here she uses a Tangela. Tangela knows Bind, Mega Drain, Vine Whip, and Constrict. Mega, Mega Drain is like a stronger version of Absorb, and Vine Whip is just a grass attack. And Constrict is probably one of the most useless attacks ever. It has a 10 base power and it has a chance of lowering your speed. Like, that's it. We, I think it's like. I think. I mean, I think Splash is even better than Constrict because Splash is even funny. Constrict is just sad. There you go. Good job. There we go. You better not. Okay, good. No potions or any of this sort. Only like they want freaking high core trainer. Forget about her. Forget about her. Yes. Cleanse your mind of all of life's stresses. Yeah. Now let's use um, Wolverine for the next one. Now we have Weeping Bow. We're going to use we Weeping Bow next. And Ash another Tyramander. So, you know. Weeping Bow knows Wrap, Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, and. Um. Fine Whip, I think? I think. Yeah. That or Acid. I was talking about Acid before. It's a poison attack, 40 in the base power. Oh, Razor Leaf. Okay, so it's wrap laser razor leaf, not laser leaf. That'd be cool. A move called laser leaf. That'd be so freaking epic. What? Wait a minute. This is the first time your dick did not okay oh a Pokemon? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah stupid question isn't enough. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first time sounds I mean Wolverine's dick did not kill a Pokemon in one hit. Good job, Rupin Bell. So yeah, oh yeah, Razor Leaf is um, a grass attack, 55 base power, 95% accuracy. I know this, well, I played a, uh, you know, Pokemon, duh. <laughs> duh. So here's her main Pokemon, Bloom. Now in Pokemon Red and Blue, her team was Victory Bell, um, Tangela, and Vile Plume. You know, where Weeping Bell and Bloom have evolved. Here, not so, but the level, their levels are higher. So let's have Gyarados use Ice Beam. So Gloom knows, let's see, the two powders, I think Acid and Petal Dance. Petal Dance is like... Oh, I, did, I forgot to stop on, on those awakenings and stuff. Oh, oh well. Gyarados is... So yeah, let's... So this is what Petal Dance does. It's a 70 base power attack. And what Gloom will do is it'll use Petal Dance again for, again for another turn. And then it may do it again for a third turn. It's like a th it's been just thrashing about. On the third or on the s after the second or third pedal dance, it'll be confused. So that's something to hope for, right? 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 No. Okay. Confusion then. Be confused. Thank God, Gyarados is resistant to grass attacks. Thank you. Oh man. Okay, fine. Yeah, of course. Why don't you? You know, I could think this is why I would use a Hyper Potion on Gyarados, but let's use Super Potion just to be Asian. I mean, I mean, um, cheap. Wake up! God! Yeah, so this is another Super Potion. Okay. Oh my god! You're not hitting yourself! What is wrong with you? Uh, okay. What is wrong with you? Wake up! 
Well, I'm glad to know- Oh, yes, you're confused. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, no. Oh, well, I can always ice cream you death. Ice beam! Yeah, you're dead. Yes. <laughs> well, I have to say, this gym battle was more of a challenge than the last one since, you know, they won't die in one hit. So, I guess that was a plus, I guess, right? And being at a lower level, you know, that's a challenge, right? Oh, the frustration. Uh, well, not as much as that one core trainer battle. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I didn't even need an awakening. <laughs> oh, that was freaking painful. God, how long can you sleep, man? And of course, it's Snorlax. Snorlax. I mean, oh, yeah, the Rainbow Badge. Right. Look at money. Hello, some money. Look at the, at the level 50, okay? I don't care. I don't need strength. Ooh, strength, huh? Is that another HM? Yeah, it is. Also, we get TM31, which teaches Mega Drain. Duh. It's like absorbed, but twice as strong. I'm not a big fan of it since. Well. Look, another one. You know, one thing I forgot to do was talk to trainers after I defeated them. You know what? I'll pay each game. Those are the gym leaders. I don't want to say gym leaders. Or guy leaders. So yeah. I'll pay them a visit and see if they have anything to say and if I record it, you know, record the stuff that they say, because, you know, because supposedly, yeah, so, um, what to do now? Well, I guess, should we go with the next spot point? Or should we just fall around? Um, let's see. I'm gonna do some fooling around, but not too much, but... Because there's a dungeon coming up. Although I've pretty much. Yeah. Let's see our Pokemon. Now, uh, I think I'll actually catch a Pidgey or something like that. And then I'll meet you at the east. No, west end of Southern City. Hey guys, so. I just got a Pidgey. Off of Route 7. And then here's a tiny bird Pokemon you can catch it, like, you know. A lot of, at a lot of places. Now, I'm going to give it a name that, um, wait, there's no numbers here? Okay. I'm going to give it a name that kind of represents how I feel about this one particular PG. PG. This name won't make any sense at all. In fact, it'll be gibberish. That's because it is gibberish. I'm going to type as much as I can, as many, I must space in as many spaces that, that allows me to. And I guess the last one is T. Okay. So, here's a new Pidgey. Um, Tuga Pirjuked. Now, why the hell did I name it this? So it all started when I was looking for a Pidgey, as I said I was going to. And... Well... So... I was looking for a Pidgey. I, had, I used Pikachu against a Pidgey. And... Pidgey use Whirlwind on me. So here's a Snorlax that's blocking the way. Damn you Snorlax. You, you enjoy this, enjoy, you're blocking the enjoy for slope, man. How dare you. So, here's what happened. So it used Whirlwind on my Pikachu, so it was blown away. So, so much of that, right? So, I was gonna think, hey, wait a minute, I think I had a save state, you know, before, I had a save state when I was running into the, when I ran into the Pidgey, right? Turns out the last time I made a save seat was before I stepped into Solid on Gym. So I had to do the freaking gym all over again. <sighs> However, it wasn't really that bad experience going through the gym again. I mean, in some ways things went better. I guess, for example, that one core trainer. Okay, so, first of all, I went to my um, videos of, I think the last episode, or the one before that, the last episode, where I fought the, you know, I was looking at the episode where I was you know, fighting the trainers, so I could use the same Pokemon, you know, I used against the same Pokemon, like, you know. You'll see, so, I tried to have, to have it so, like, the experience that they, they've gained then is the same that they've gained now. The only difference is, um, oh, good effort, yeah. I wish I could talk to you, but that'd be illegal. Anyway, so, here we are on Route 16. Oh, huh, it's 16. That's a huge jump in numbers. You know, so as I was saying, there's just one difference. You know that core trainer who pissed me off? So I had Pikachu do something different this time as a starting move. Instead of using Thunder Wave, I had it use Slam. 
and it took over a huge part of Weepingwell's health. And here's what she did. She had the balls to withdraw her weeping bell. She withdrew her weeping bell and sat on the gloom. So I think she killed gloom. Not too much, you know, even. So, so yeah, here's Recluse saying, Oh, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell me I'm here. I'm a hermit. I love being alone. I'm gonna see you with this. And we get HM2, which lets us fly. This is actually pretty useful. HM. I mean, as an attack, it's fun to like dig. You know, you're in a safe place for one turn and then you attack. So that's why I caught a uh, Taga Pergut. So I'm gonna delete Whirlwind since it is useless in this generation, pretty much. So I thought I was gonna, you know, go to various cities, do the gyms, previous gyms to talk to them if I missed anything from them. So yeah, this is how flying works. You fly to Pokemon centers in the cities you visited. You can fly like in you can fly in uncharted areas. So you can visit home. In fact, I like totally well. So as I was saying, the core trainer was your gloom. So I mean, even though, so I had Pikachu kill Bloom. Then you know she sent out Weepin' Bell, well, like little, little health. So I just you know Wolverine finished it off with Scratch. There are all kinds of trainers in the world. Some are Pokemon for fights. Some see them as pets. Oh, wait a minute. I already talked to him. Maybe I didn't talk to Misty. But yeah. I mean, this is, if at all, this will be a demo for how to use Fly. So it's good. You just go up, you know, to go through the cities in order. Anyway, so. As I was saying. Um. So yeah. Other than that. So the gym battle itself. Well, let's see. How should I say this? So, try really had a harder time against Tangela. Oh, I see. Fine. Tangela used Constrict, which actually lowered really speed so that Tangela could then, you know, go first and use Bind. So I think I'll take back what I said about Constrict. I have enough time. Good. I can still rant. I mean, talk about my story. It goes in that order though. So yeah. Um, so Tangela kind of gave my really a bit harder time, but still really prevailed. And good. Yeah. Then, you know, Sand Slash. Sand Slash, I mean, Wolverine. Wolverine landed a critical hit on Weeping Bell, so Indian it did kill Weeping Bell with one dig. Yay! Now for Bloom. That's pretty eventless since Bloom went straight ahead to, to using Petal Dance, so no sleeping Gyarados is here, just two ice beams and that's it. A little word of advice, kids. Kid, electricity is pure powerful. But it's useless against ground type Pokemon in America and everywhere, in fact. Except for, you know, electric attacks hitting a ride on the horn! Hitting the horn, or however it goes. Anyway, so. I guess that's. I guess Nintendo Surgery was the only one we haven't talked to. But yeah, let's go back to Celadon City. That was a waste of time, wasn't it? So, yeah. Um, after that, they whole experience. Um, you know. I decided to give the Pidgey a name based on this whole experience that has been very um, emotional, very, you know, open, emotional, um, elaborate, um, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, I'm, you know, waving my arms around like crazy here. So, I went to WordPad and, like, just went ape shit on my keyboard. You know, I thought it was a random angry gibberish, and, you know, and, you know, so that's pretty much how, and that gibberish, like, Typed into Word WordPad is, you know, Pidgey's nickname. Minus some numbers I also typed in as well, but yeah. That's how I came up with Pidgey's nickname, and that's how I spent the last wasted the last few minutes of my life. <sighs> anyway, so what are we gonna what, so why are we here? Um aren't isn't this guard gonna like reject me and all? Since you know, all self and guards are jerks. We seem for all four guards. Well, it turns out that, you know, all the guards need is a little drink. Unfortunately, I'm a miner, so I can't give them alcohol. So I'm sure they're disappointed with just fresh water. Yeah, I mean, he's happy that I gave him fresh water, but... In reality, I'm sure he was like, blocking access just because he wanted some alcohol. Come on, you know that. He wanted some, he wanted some beer, but... So we're gonna share fresh... Like, a can of fresh water with three other guards. That's pretty... No cycling? Uh oh. But yeah. First of all, this is 
still Route 7, so not as short as I thought, but still small. And here, where it's all yellow, this is Saffron City. Self-sliss part of the needs to be determined. Oh, I wonder why. Yes, we are in the middle. We're in Saffron City. This is the biggest city in Kanto. Now, I'm not going to do a full exploration of this place. I'm just here to get one item. And... 